The Multnomah County Health Department is facing a $200,000 shortfall, which means cuts have to be made. And for now, those cuts are coming from the harm reduction program. That's why the mobile needle exchange in Gresham is on the chopping block. That location is currently used by more than 300 people. And so far this year, 250,000 syringes have been exchanged at that site alone. In total, the harm reduction program collects about 7 million syringes every year. Those are 7 million uses of drugs that um, we are reducing the harm that can occur from those uses um, to real people. And that's a huge thing. County Commissioner Sharon Myron proposed an amendment to save the needle exchange. She says investing 200000 now could end up saving the county millions down the road by preventing the spread of infections and diseases associated with drug use that are costly to treat. She says treatment for hepatitis C runs twenty to $50,000, for example. They could contract a number of diseases. I'm an ER doctor and... Uh, one of the other things that I do, and um, and I see those devastating consequences of what happens when um, people get infections with, uh, with dirty needles. If the Gresham site closes, some people who live in the Montevilla neighborhood worry it will drive more people to the needle exchange there. One woman I spoke with says many neighbors aren't against the program, but do oppose the way the needle exchanges are being run and where they're located. They say they're seeing drug use on their streets and are experiencing problems with crime. I do totally understand that perspective, and the fact is that there have been studies that have been done, and those have shown that Actually, in areas where there are these harm reduction clinics, I mean, crime actually decreases. We, as I said earlier, we reduce the number of needles that you're going to be seeing on the streets and in the parks. The final budget will be released on Thursday, so for now we'll have to wait and see if the program funding will be restored.